Uh, Kenya's National Assembly has approved all of President Uru Kenyatta's 24 nominees to the position of Principal Secretary in various government departments. The lawmakers also approved the appointment of Philip Kinisu as Chairperson of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And as KTN's Patrick Amimo now reports, this now paves the way for their formal appointment by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. For two consecutive days, members of the National Assembly held special sittings to debate and either reject or approve President Uhuru Kenyatta's nominees to the Cabinet and Anti-Corruption Commission. I think their job is already cut out. Members agreed with recommendations by the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs and approved the appointment of Philip Kinisu as chairperson of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. The House also approved the appointment of Dr. Dabar Malim Abdi, Paul Maniki Gashoka, Ros Mgoi Mtambo and Sofia Lepuchirit as members of the Anti-Corruption Commission. Their formal appointment will fully constitute the Commission which was open to constitutional litigation since it was operating only with the Secretariat after three commissioners resigned from office in May this year. Kinisu has promised that immediately he assumes office, he will first study the Commission's policy and legal framework before developing a strategy for winning the war against corruption. This is a team that we believe they have the courage and they have the determination to fight corruption. And, and also they have the passion. In fact, the late... Uh, uh, Kajuang said that uh, those ones did not appear to have passion, there was no passion no matter. But we think these ones here, they are passion, Mrs. Mr. Speaker. The chair is somebody who has retired from a very prestigious job. I'm sure he would not want to taint his wonderful professional career with not managing the ESCC well. They must magulfortify the war on corruption in this country for us to move forward. I'm happy that diversity, regional balance, and the face of Kenya has been observed to a great extent. Paul Mwaniki Gashoka has been representing former Minister Emos Kimunya and the Machakos County Government in cases investigated by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. On appointment, he will forthwith cease being their lawyer. Lawmakers have lately accused the Anti-Corruption Commission of shoddy work and not living up to its mandate after it implicated some of their colleagues in corruption scandals over rent-seeking, false mileage claims, seating and travel allowances. Indeed, lawmakers mid this year passed laws requiring all staff at the Commission to be vetted afresh within one year once the Commission is fully constituted. Before the appointment, we mandated these individuals, if they'll be approved by this House, to move forth with speed and vet those people currently serving in the employ of the Commission. If, if I were to meet them later, I would be telling them that the vetting we are looking at is the sending of everybody who is currently their home. Lawmakers also approved all the 24 nominees to the position of Principal Secretary to various departments. On Wednesday, all the seven nominees to the position of Cabinet Secretary were cleared for appointment by the National Assembly. Despite criticism that the President flouted the Constitution by not observing the gender principle and regional balance while making the nominations, all the 36 candidates were approved. Uhuru is now at liberty to formally appoint them to their new positions ahead of Christmas. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.